What's up, Stakeheads? We're back at it again, rolling out updates left and right. We've already pushed two major updates, and another one is on the way that will fix some bugs and add even more content. First off, I want to showcase what we've been doing with our levels. Our levels were pretty good before, but they lacked depth when it came to shadows and colors. Now, with some new optimization techniques under our belt, we're bringing shadows back into the game. This change adds a whole new vibe to the levels without heavily taxing your PC. It's a big deal for a horror multiplayer like ours, where atmosphere is everything. Whether you're lurking as a vampire or hunting as a slayer in the dark alleys of Blood Ave, this update brings the world to life. We're applying these same optimizations to other maps like Cemetery, and we've added new lighting techniques to make these environments more visually appealing. We've also been working hard on Blood Ave, and it's only going to get better from here. We're introducing volumetric fog, making constant light adjustment, and tweaking textures to really enhance the atmosphere. This map will feel even more immersive and eerie, capturing that perfect horror vibe. We've also gone ahead and optimized the level models by removing unseen polygons, which will boost GPU performance and improve FPS. And to make the levels feel even more alive, we're adding atmospheric creatures throughout. For example, in our upcoming farm map, you'll notice crows flying around as you engage in battles. We've also created bats for the layer map to enhance that creepy atmosphere we all love. Now let's talk about some new features. Leaderboards are now active and fully operational, allowing you to track your progress and see how many fangs you've collected right in the main menu. You will also see how many fangs you collected at the end of each round. Just remember, you won't get awarded fang points for killing bots. With these fangs points, you'll be able to unlock weapon skins, taunts, and soon character skins and fatalities. Just a reminder, if you want to stay up to date with our weekly updates, don't forget to like and subscribe. Speaking of updates, ammo boxes will now despawn after 5 minutes to reduce visual clutter and improve performance. We should give slayers plenty of time to grab what they need. We've also adjusted sprinting for slayers, allowing them to sprint for more longer to escape when being chased by vampires. And for more reactive combat, we reduce the Slayer Rider fire delay for the hand cannon gun. Character abilities have been tweaked as well. Vampire Melissa and Eric have gotten a boost, giving them a better chance against Slayers. Cash's rage was reduced as well. On the visual side, we fixed the bug with Melissa's blood vision, so it no longer carries over to the next round. Map names now appear in the map boat screen, and players' names are responsive and fully implemented in TDM mode. We also made some changes to how spawning works in TDM. Instead of spawning in the same spot, you'll now spawn at a semi-random location on the map away from enemies. This prevents spawning camping and gives you better chance to regroup with your teammates, especially with the new buddy vision system, where you can see your teammates across the levels. Character shadows have been also added, which adds a spooky vibe throughout the maps, especially in Blood Ave and Cemetery. You'll even see the Slayer shadows along with the weapons they're holding. Fall damage has been adjusted for Slayers, making them tougher when it comes to taking falls, unless it's from a really high rooftop. And we optimize textures for all characters, which might allow us to increase the player count in the future. We've also added the ability to inspect most weapons so you can now check your unlocked skins. More animations will be added as we continue to update the game. Vampire Heart hitboxes have been improved to enhance gameplay accuracy. The hitbox is now directly attached to the vampire's heart, ensuring it stays in place even when vampires are down on the floor. This change provides a more realistic and consistent targeting experience for Slayer Lisa. Additionally, Slayer's bodies now remain on the battlefield for 5 minutes, instead of disappearing immediately. This change gives vampires a better fighting chance throughout the rounds, giving them the ability to drink blood and recover HP, especially in team deathmatch mode, where strategic play and awareness are crucial. We've added a lot of performance enhancements, improving programming for a smoother, less CPU intensive experience. And lastly, we're working on adding finishers back into the game. So stay tuned for more on that in the coming weeks. For a more in-depth look at all the patch fixes, make sure to check out the link below. For a scheduled gameplay event, join our Discord. Thanks for watching.